Hey peeps, what's up? Manji here, back with another video. And in this video, I'm going to show you some tips and tricks and hidden features for the Samsung Galaxy A14 5G. As always, the video is divided into chapters, which can be found in the description of this video. And without any further delay, let us get down to business. First things first, this is the year 2023 and I'm still not sure why Samsung gives you these buttons at the bottom now even though it is a personal preference for navigation but those of you who do like to use gestures all you have to do is go into settings then you will go into display scroll down go into navigation bar for starters if you want to swap your back and recent so you can do that using this toggle over here then if you go into more options after you have enabled swipe gestures you can switch between different options so you have gesture hint enable or disable which is going to hide this gesture bar at the bottom then if you select more options over here you can choose between different gesture styles so the one which is enabled by default is the swipe from sides and bottom so here in swipe up to go home swipe from either side to go back and swipe up and hold for your recents but if you want the other style wherein you swipe on each area of the bottom of your phone to go back or to the home screen or to view your recents so you can swipe up and hold from the left over here to get your recents from the middle for home and swipe up from the right for back so these are your gesture options which are available on your samsung galaxy a14 5g now while we're talking about gestures there is another trick which you can add to your arsenal over here well if you double press on the power button from anywhere even if you do it from the lock screen it is going to open the camera application so that is how you get quick access to the camera now you necessarily might not want this gesture of double press on the power button for your camera so you can always customize this all you have to do is go into settings then you will go into advanced features go into side key as you can see double press for starters you can either enable or disable it then if you do not want to open a camera you can set it to open any application which you want to so let us say i set it to open the gallery app and now if i double press over here bam here it is gallery app opened without any issues then another cool gesture is if you go back into your settings advanced features and go into motions and gestures then you go into finger sensor gestures herein if you enable this open notification panel now if i swipe down on my fingerprint sensor you will see that it opens and it closes the notification shade so that is another cool gesture which you have available on your samsung galaxy a14 5g another gesture which i have for you which can be an awesome trick is if you swipe down from your gesture bar you get into one-handed mode now here and you can of course use your device pretty easily and if you want you can move this window around as well you can move it to the right you can move it to the left how do you do this well you again have to go into settings advanced features enable this toggle for one-handed mode and if you go into one-handed mode option you can either use a gesture the one which i'm using right now or if you have the three button navigation style then you have to double tap on the home button to get this one-handed mode which makes one-handed use pretty easy on your samsung galaxy a14 5g the next tip and trick for your samsung galaxy a14 5g is edge panels now these are not of course enabled out of the box so you have to go into settings display here and you enable edge panels and then you go inside edge panels go into panels and you can choose 
amongst various panels so you have panels for apps tasks people smart select weather tools and then the panel is going to by default appear on the right hand side here it is you have a transparent bar over here on the top right and you can swipe between the different panels as well however if you are in the edge panels main screen you can go into the option of handle and herein you can change the position if you want it on the left hand side then you can change the colors as well so here it is you can see that i now have a reddish translucent bar over here and of course you can configure the transparency of this bar as well along with the size and width and you also have a toggle to vibrate when the handle is touched so edge panels are going to add to the multitasking capabilities of your samsung galaxy a14 5g now while we are talking about multitasking let us talk about split screen as well so here it is i access my recents and let us say i want the play store and another application in split screen mode all you need to do is press and hold on this icon over here and then you will get the option of dragging it so we see drop here to open and i do that and then i can choose whatever other application i want to open in split screen on the bottom so here it is chrome is over here and you can always move this sizing around so you see these three dots over here well that you can use to resize this split screen view then if you tap on it you get more options if i tap on the option with the two arrows it is going to switch the applications so play store is now at the bottom and chrome is on the top similarly if you want to favorite this you get this star tap on the star and you can either add it to your home screen or you can add this app pair to your app edge panel so here it is i've added to my app edge panel and now i can open these two applications as an application pair so here it is i have one for the settings and i think the gallery application or another samsung app so here it is this is gallery app on the bottom and settings on the top similarly if i want my other app pair which i used of chrome and play store i can access that as well from my edge panel then let us take this multitasking to another level so we go back to our recents then we press and hold on the app icon we get drop here to open we don't do that we move this to the center of the screen now we get drop here for pop-up view and bam here it is you can see that we have the edge panel customization the handle option in a floating window or a pop-up view if you tap on this bar on the top you're going to get different options and you can of course close it maximize it minimize it and i think you can also configure the transparency of this pop-up view however if you tap on this bar and tap on the first option on the left this is the view which you are going to get now if you tap on these two arrows which are pointing towards each other you see this thing is now a floating button and let us say i go over here to my edge panel open my app pair in split screen view and then if i tap on this bam there it is you can see i actually have three applications open at the same time on my samsung galaxy a14 5g taking multitasking to yet another level then if you ever want to hide apps on your a14 5g all you have to do is press and hold on the empty space on your home screen then you will go into settings here and go into the option of hide apps on home and app screens now let us say i want to hide the chrome one so i'm going to tap on chrome and it is added to the hidden apps list now super important thing make sure you click on done to save the changes and bam there it is you can see that chrome has disappeared from my home screen 
and it has also disappeared from my applications now what if you want to bring it back well you have to go back to the same place of hide apps and then tap on this minus sign and again make sure you tap on the done as well and now chrome is actually back just that it did not come back automatically as a shortcut on my home screen but it is present in my application drawer next up let us talk about some battery saving tips and tricks for your samsung galaxy a14 5g now by default out of the box this bad boy here is running at 90 hertz however if you want to save some battery you can always disable 90 hertz how do you do that you go into settings you go into display you go into motion smoothness here and you will notice by default it is adaptive if i set it as standard and select apply we are now running in 60 hertz other than that in display you also have options like dark mode so make sure you do try that out you can always schedule your dark mode as well in case you want to then you also have something called eye comfort shield which is actually going to reduce your blue light if you're worried about that but if you go into your battery options in the settings then you have some more options about battery and device care over here so we are in battery and device care tap on battery here and go into power saving and you see these options limit cpu speed to 70 percent decrease brightness by 10 percent so if you enable battery saving you can actually save some more battery in case you want to then another option which i prefer to enable is by going into more battery settings on this page where we are we reached here by going into your device care and then tapping on battery scroll down more battery settings enable this toggle of protecting the battery so to extend the lifespan of your battery limit the maximum charge to 85 percent yes this is going to prolong the battery life and the battery on your samsung galaxy a14 5g then let us talk about the vibration intensity now of course this here is a budget phone so you do not expect top of the line z axis linear vibration motor so if you go into settings then you go into sound and vibration and here in go into vibration intensity you actually have a slider to increase or decrease the strength of the vibration motor which will be helpful for those of you who might not be happy with the vibration motor present on your samsung galaxy a14 5g next up let us talk about customizing the lock screen on your samsung galaxy a14 5g so you will go into settings then you will go into lock screen here in you will see the option of customizing it so if i tap on lock screen this is how my current lock screen looks like i can customize all of it so here it is if i tap on the clock i can actually switch between different clocks you have a few digital clocks and you have a few analog clocks as well you can also change the color of the clock and you can use a custom color using your rgb picker in case you want to use a separate color for your clock then if you tap on the icons at the bottom so these are your notifications so do you want icons only or do you want the details then of course if you want details you can configure the transparency using the slider then you can also change your text which appears on the lock screen right now i have set it as yo but if you want to add your emergency contact information over here you can do that as well you can also customize the lock screen shortcuts which appear on the bottom left on the bottom right so if i tap on the minus sign that is going to delete it and then i can tap on the plus sign and say i want chrome on the bottom left and then on the bottom right i want something else let us say i want clock i can do that as well and once i'm happy with the results i can tap on done on the top right and bam there it is you can see that the changes have been applied successfully and this is how my lock screen looks like right now
And before you ask me, hey Manchi, how do I open these apps? Well, all you have to do is swipe, enter your PIN, face unlock, your fingerprint sensor, and then that is going to open that specific application. Bam, here it is. We have successfully opened Google Chrome. Then let us talk about dual messenger apps. So not all applications are like Instagram wherein you can have multiple accounts within one instance of the application. Apps like Snapchat, Facebook Messenger do not let you have two accounts within the same app instance. So to fix that, if you go into settings and then you go into advanced features, you have something called dual messenger and supported applications are going to show up over here. All you have to do is enable this toggle. And if you want a separate contact list, you can do that as well. And you can be running two instances of Facebook Messenger and Snapchat on your Samsung Galaxy A14 5G. And there it is peeps. Those were some tips and tricks and hidden features for the Samsung Galaxy A14 5G. Of course, if there is a tip or trick or a hidden feature, not mentioned in this video but you think will be helpful to others make sure to leave it in the comments on this video